I want to talk about two different ways of doing timed turns. As you know, timed turns are a way of making turns without using the compass or without using an HSI or directional gyro or anything like that. There's a mathematical way to figure out how long to turn, and there's more of a visual way to figure out how to do time turns. And uh, today we're going to talk about both of them. So, we'll start out with the mathematical way. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit quicker to explain, but it might be a bit tougher to do in the cockpit. Let's say that you have an airplane uh, heading 360, and you want to turn the airplane to a heading of 090. Not too big of a problem. Uh, you're going to do a standard right turn, and you're going to turn from 360 to 090, uh, 090, which is 30 degrees worth of turn. And most of you already know that this is going to take, sorry, not 30 degrees, it's uh, 90 degrees, and it's going to take 30 seconds. Now how do we figure that out? Well, we know that we're going to be turning at standard rate. And standard rate is 3 degrees per second. So, you know that if you have 90 degrees to turn, and you're turning at 3 degrees per second, you wind up with 30 seconds. And there's your solution right there. 30 seconds worth of turn. Now let's say that you're going to do it again, but with uh, maybe it's something a little bit more difficult. Say you want to turn from, oh, we'll go 0, 4, 0, and you want to turn to a heading of 1, 7, 0. Well, uh, again, you do the same thing. You figure out how much you're going to turn. In this case, it's 170 minus 040 equals 130. Uh, so you're going to be turning 130 degrees, and you want to know at 3 degrees per second how much that's going to be. So 3 degrees per second and 130 degrees to turn. Uh, that's 3, 4, uh, 3, 43.3, there you go. So it would be 43.3. Uh, seconds worth of turn in order to make this turn from 040 to 170. And you can do this for pretty much any time to turn you like. You can subtract the destination from the original heading and then divide it by 3 and if you have a calculator in the cockpit this might work out pretty well for you. But some people don't like this, I know that I don't. It's, uh, it's difficult to do that math in the cockpit, at least I think it is. And so, uh, there are different ways to do it. One of them is what we're going to do here. We'll make ourselves up a cheat sheet, and we're going to list the various types of turn that you can do along with the amount of time that they take. So in this case, we'll say that a full 360 degrees worth of turn is going to take two minutes. And some people call a standard rate turn a two minute turn for this reason. To go around in a full 360 degree circle, it's going to take you two minutes. Alright, well if that's the case, then to go in a 180 degree circle should take you one minute. Obviously, 180 is half of 360. So, 180 degrees worth of turns should take you one minute when 360 takes you two minutes. You see where this is going. 90 degrees worth of turn should take you 30 seconds and uh, again we'll split up the 90 we'll say that uh, the 90 can be divided into 30s so 30 degrees worth of turn is going to take 10 seconds and finally the smallest possible slice we'll divide that by 3 and we'll say that 10 degrees worth of turn is going to, and we'll round slightly here, and we'll say that 10 degrees worth of turn takes about 3 seconds. So there you go. Now we've got our cheat sheet. We've got 10, 30, 90, 180, and 360 degrees worth of turn with their 3 seconds, 10, 30, a minute, and 2 minutes. And with these right here, we should be able to figure out just about any timed turn 
uh, that we want to do. So let's uh, let's come up with one. Let's try this. Uh, the original zero four zero turning to one seven zero. Well, how are we going to do that? Well, let's see. Picture your directional gyro. So we'll draw directional gyro here, and we'll label it with uh, north, south, east, and west. All right, great. Now, we're going to want to do our turn. From 040, zero, well, 040 zero, zero is about here. And 170 zero is right about here. So you know that you're going to be turning right, first of all. You're on a heading of 040. Zero, zero. You'll want to turn right to a heading of 170. Zero. OK, good enough. Now, let's see whether or not we can break this up into some chunks that we've already decided here. First one. Can we get a full 360 degrees worth of turn out of this? Well, no we can't. We can't get 360 degrees because this is much too short for that. How about 180? Can we get a minute out of it? Well, no we can't. We don't have 180 degrees worth of turn. It's too short for that. What about 90 degrees? Well, yeah, we can fit a 90 degree turn in here. Absolutely. We can turn from, uh, say, 170, say 080. This first piece right here would be 30 seconds worth of turn. Uh, let's try that again. 30 seconds. So from 170 to 080, there we've got our first 30 seconds worth of turn. Can we get another one in? Can we go from here to here? Well, no, we can't. And we'll erase that. Uh, it's it's not big enough. The The space that we have remaining is not big enough to fit in uh, another 30 degrees, sorry, another 30 seconds worth of turn. Can we fit in 30 degrees, 10 seconds worth of turn? Well, yes, I bet we can. Let's try that. Let's see, uh, 30 degrees worth of turn would be 0, 0.50. 0. So you'd have 10 more seconds worth of turn here. 0, 0.50 to 0, 0.80 0 would be 30 degrees, 10 seconds worth of turn. And then finally, let's see what else we can get in here. From 0, 040 to 0, 050, that would be, let's try that again, uh, 10 degrees worth of turn. So this would be 3 seconds. So what we've got here is we've got a 30 second chunk, a 10 second chunk, and a 3 second chunk. Add them all up, and you've got 30 plus 10 plus 3 equals 43 seconds. Just like we calculated before, it's going to take you 43 seconds to do this turn. From 040 to 050 will be 3 seconds. 050 to 080 will be 10 seconds. And then from 080 around to 170 will be another 30 seconds for a total of 43 seconds. Now personally, I find this a lot easier. Let's say that uh, let's say that we want to do another turn. Let's say that we want to turn from a heading of one six zero to a heading of three zero zero. Well, once again, picture your directional gyro. There's your directional gyro. You've got north, south, east, and west. One six zero is right about here. Let's do that in a different color. One six zero is right about here. And 300 is right about here. How far is it that we're turning? Well, we're turning, um, well, certainly turning 90 degrees. And put that in right now. Uh, 30 seconds from 180 to 270. And from 270 up to 300, well, that one's pretty easy. That's uh, 30 degrees worth of turn, so that would be 10 seconds. And from 160 to 180, well, that would be uh, 20 degrees. 20 degrees is just uh, 10 degrees twice, so you've got 3 seconds and 3 seconds there. So you've got 30 plus 10 plus 3 plus 3, that would be 46. 46 seconds. From 160 to 300, 
should take 46 seconds. Now let's try it again and see whether or not uh, the math works out. We said 1, 6, 0, 2, 3, 0, 0. All right, well, let's take uh, 3, 0, 0, minus 1, 6, 0, and we wind up with 1, 4, 0. Divide that by 3, and we get, oh, let's see, 4, uh, oops, that's a mistake. Try that again. 326.2, I think it's 46.2. Regardless, it's 46 point something seconds. 46 point, who knows what. Close enough. So it does work out. The math works out either way. Whether you decide to do a graphical or whether you decide to do a mathematical uh, calculation, it doesn't really matter. You can figure out time turns either way. Either get the difference and then divide by 3, uh, which is the mathematical way, or use this cheat sheet right here draw yourself out a dire oh, come on draw yourself out a directional gyro put your airplane on it or rather put your current heading on it put your destination heading on it and then start drawing out the chunks see whether or not you have any first see whether or not you have any one at 180 degrees uh, in this case you don't see whether you have any 90 degrees in this case you do you have one and then see whether or not you have any uh, 30 degrees. In this case, you have one. And then use the rest in 10 degree increments. Add them all up, and you get your solution. There you go.